say hi guys hi guys so today we are going to be doing aria's room tour i'm really excited hey so i am really excited to finally be doing this room tour i have never done a room tour for aria so you guys probably won't really know what her nursery looked like but I have recently transitioned it from nursery to a toddler room, which I will easily be able to transition into like a big girl room when she's a little bit older. The... Hey, don't do that. Come here. We're almost done. The general theme that I was going for with her bedroom was a kind of princessy, whimsical, fantasy kind of, kind of feeling and I think I did a pretty good job so without any further ado we're going to go ahead and get into the video but before I say do that I also want to remind you guys to subscribe because I'm going oh, <laughs> I wanted to remind you guys to subscribe because I will be doing a bathroom tour for her bathroom soon and you want to know when that comes out and her bathroom is a under the sea theme so i think you'll be really excited or you'll really want to see it at least i'm really excited so let's get into it now On her bedroom door, I just have a wooden A that I got in the Target dollar section a few months ago, and then this little flower dress that she actually wore to her dedication, and I think maybe for birthday photos. She's worn this. This is sort of like for special events, and it hangs on her door, and I think it looks really cute with her little A on it. Okay, you want to start over there? So when you first come in, have her dresser that just has some lace on the top. And then a picture frame that I needed to put a picture in, a Tinkerbell light, some jewelry stuff, and then this is like her little Christmas decorations. Look at this freaking cute. Isn't he cute? And then her poinsettia, which I really, really like. And if you want to see how this is what oh did you take that out of the and if you want to see how i have this organized i already have a video about that and then if you come here she has a little mirror that's her height so that she can you know like check herself out all right and then right next to the mirror she just has some scars i like dress up with and stuff hanging on the wall Then we have her window, which just looks out look, to the neighbor's house. You can see the side. I have these little lace curtains. These really, it's a light pink lace curtain that I got at Goodwill like a long time before she was born. And then on the top, there are just little <coughs> tissue paper flowers that are actually from my baby shower. The decorations at my baby shower that I repurposed. And then she actually has a floor bed, which is a Montessori principle. And she just has some blankets on it. I use that as a blackout curtain when I put her in here to take naps. And then there's this big blank wall, which is actually going to have a picture hanging there pretty soon. Oh yeah, and then she has all of the butterflies. Oh, look at your butterflies. Somebody from... Our church actually made these for her before she was born, but you can buy them like all over the place now. They're really, really pretty though, and she absolutely adores them. 
And then next to her bed, she also has this hamper with her stuffed animals and just kind of mostly stuffed animals. And then there's like this cloth book that I had when I was little. And then next to that, we just have her teepee. I put some fake flowers on it to make it a little more whimsical. And then there are a bunch of pillows and blankets inside. Yeah. 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 She likes to nap in here and we turn on her little My Pillow Pet. And she also has a little bucket of board books so she can read while she's in here or pretend to read. Yeah. Is that your TP? Yeah. Oh, you want to show them how that works? Uh. See, and then it just projects stars. Mm. Oh, yeah, blue. Yeah. And then moving on from there, you come to this table, which again has a lace tablecloth on it that I got at the lace fabric I got at Goodwill. And it just has there's these Raggedy Ann and Raggedy Andy books that I had from when I was a little girl. My grandmother gave them to me and her sister actually sewed them. So they're like hand sewn for me. And now they're Aries. They're really special. And then she also has this little light up flower thing from when I was little. So her little diary, which she just doodles in. I know there's doodles in here somewhere. Yeah, she just kind of doodles in it. And a, another basket of books. These ones are more like paper books though. She has like an art book, some five minute stories, a bunch of Shel Silverstein books, some Tinkerbell books, just like some really like, they go with the theme of the room I think. And then this is one of my favorite books that I have found for her, which is Do Princesses Wear Hiking Boots. And then she has like some, she has a George R. R. Martin, of course she has a kid's George R. R. Martin book called The Ice Dragon and some more Tinkerbell books and then a Dragon Hunter's Handbook. And on the wall is, this is just like her collage wall. So the pink pom-poms are from her birthday party. I just got, uh, yeah. You, yeah. yeah, you can buy them like the, like it's a kit thing that you buy at the dollar store. And then I just spray painted it pink and sprinkled on glitter. And then I also got this at the Dollar Tree. This was a, gift I believe and it's just her handprints and her footprint when she was born there's a little dream catcher this was made for her it was a little potpourri thing somebody made for her this was a Christmas ornament from her first Christmas um, this quote somebody actually this was wrapping paper that a gift at her baby shower came in and then one of the girls at the baby shower made me this little wall art and this is probably one of my favorite things in her whole whole room it's really really helped me over the years because this is actually where her changing table used to be so I looked at this quote multiple times a day and let's see there's a pinwheel that her aunt gave her and this move mountain sign that I got at Target. There's another biblical quote that somebody gave me and I just put it in her room. Um, then there's this little star that says a daughter is yesterday's dream, today's delight, and tomorrow's promise. Um, angels are often disguised, oops, knocking that off the wall. Angels are often disguised as daughters. There's this necklace that I had from when I was like a teenager that Yay! kind of broke. And it's just hanging here. And then this little pacifier and ribbon was from my baby shower that keep the 
the game, you know, where you can't say baby. Oh, yeah? What do you have? Oh, is that your time turner? Yeah. Yeah? You gonna go back in time? Yeah. Yeah? And then the last thing is, though, when we asked for a daughter, we were sent a princess, which I found at Goodwill, and it was just too perfect to pass up. And then under the table, we have the suitcase, which is where I store all of her toys. There's also these trunks under here. One has dress up stuff for when she's a little bit older. And then the other one has keepsakes, like her old clothes and just that kind of stuff in it. <gasps> Boo! Being in this red, oops. In this red suitcase, which yeah, has a bunch of her toys to keep them kind of out of the way. And she also has a few little like, other toys that are under here. Okay, and then from there, we are pretty much back to her door. She just has like this kind of Harry Potter cloak, a Supergirl cape, and then this is her arts and crafts dress because it's like got paint and stuff all over it. And then if you keep going, there is the archway to her bathroom, which I'm going to be doing a bathroom tour kind of video that's coming out tomorrow. So you should subscribe so that you can see it, right? Yeah. But there's um these flowers and ribbon, they actually came painted in the house like this. Yeah. And you might notice I have um, roses painted over my archway. They came with the house and my mom will not unpaint them. Oh. Yeah, but that's just Arya's bedroom tour. Hey. Can you say goodbye? Say thanks for coming in my room. Say bye. Say bye bye. I s we're done with video. Say bye. Uh, More video? What else do you want to show them? Uh, oh, your pony? You want to show them your pony? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, More what? Uh, <gasps> oh, yeah, look. Is it the same pony? Yeah. <gasps> yeah, you drew on her face, huh? Is it the same pony? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, say goodbye. No. Say bye-bye. Uh, uh, no more, we's going. It's time the video's over.